A Florida mother, her name Brandy Hutchins, 43 years of age, has shot dead her two children. She then turned the gun on herself. Aidan Hutchins, 10 years of age, and also Hannah Griner, 19 years of age, was shot and killed by the mother, Brandy Hutchins, 43 years of age, inside of a trailer home in a small town of Waverly in Florida. This happened last Sunday. The two children, Aidan, 10, Hannah, 19, had different fathers, and were told that the tragedy occurred days after the mother mother, Brandy Hutchins, had lost custody of Aiden, the 10-year-old boy, to Brandy's ex-husband. So there was a custody dispute in regards to Aiden Hutchins. Brandy Hutchins, who, by the way, has no criminal record, lost custody. Aiden was granted by the courts to the mother's ex-husband. She was ordered to hand Aiden over by 6 p.m. on Friday. That didn't happen with that. Authorities searched both for Aiden and for Brandy. There was a tip-off that Brandy was at her trailer home, a mobile home in Waverly, Central Florida, along with Aiden and her 19-year-old daughter, Hannah Griner. So authorities were tipped off. Officers arrived at the trailer home, whereupon officers found the three deceased individuals, the mother, Brandy Hutchins, 10-year-old Aiden Hutchins, and her her daughter Hannah Griner, 19 years old, uh, an horrific tragedy, completely unexpected. So again, the mother has no criminal history at all. There was a custody dispute. I'm not going to pretend that I understand or know all the ins and outs of that, but seemingly specialist organizations, authorities were involved in that, and none of them felt that there was a risk of violence. This was a normal humdrum child custody dispute. It came to a resolution. 10-year-old Aiden was to be given to his father, Brandy's ex-husband. It all seemed kind of normal, so of course it's to be expected that the mother might well be upset by that, and authorities of course were concerned at the point that the mother, Brandy, failed to adhere to the court order that she hand over Aiden to her ex-husband at Friday 6pm, but nobody expected violence, nobody expected this horrific double murder suicide. Who could imagine such a thing? Nobody. Aiden's father, naturally absolutely shattered, absolutely ripped apart. His name, Nick Hutchins. He was pleading for help when the mother, Brandy Hutchins, failed to adhere to the court order. He knew something was wrong, but he had no expectation they would be this horrific. Of course, Hannah Griner's father will also be absolutely destroyed by this, as will their general family and friends. An absolute terrible, terrible tragedy and very, very confusing, given that, as far as we understand, the double murderer, the mother, Brandy Hutchins, was a perfectly law-abiding contributory member of society, a normal person. As far as we understand, we are told that an investigation is ongoing, but we're not told of any mental health issues. There were no signs of potential violence. This is a seemingly a normal human being, the mother, who all of a sudden, due to her level of being emotionally hurt, upset, of having lost custody of her son, Aidan Hutchins, legally, she allowed that emotional hurt or emotional upsetness to not only have the thought but to carry on through with killing 10 year old Aiden, 19 year old Hannah and then herself. It doesn't seem real and that's what Hannah Griner's boyfriend has said that it is so unreal and yeah I can understand that. It's so unexpected, so difficult to process. Why would she do this? There's no sense in it of course. It's absolutely horrific. Why would a 43 year old mother with no criminal history, we're not told of any mental health issues. We're not told of any drug use. Of course, we don't have the full story. Perhaps there's plenty that we don't know. Perhaps an investigation will tell us more. But as far as we can see from the information that we have that's been released by authorities at this point, she seems like a normal woman, a normal mother. So is that wrong? Is it just simple to say, well, hey, look, it's appearances and she isn't what she seemed. She was actually an evil twisted banshee. We just didn't know that. Is that the answer or is the answer something else? Is there something going on in the world such that a normal human being, a contributory member of society, a mother, perhaps a caring person, perhaps a kind person, can all of a sudden switch to being a murderous scumbag. 
That's the part that I'm intrigued by, how someone who is seemingly normal, who might well have been normal, can all of a sudden perform such a heinous act. So of course I'm going to say full condolences to all of the family and friends. Of the three victims, well perhaps I shouldn't call Brandy a victim, certainly the family and friends of Aiden and Hannah. Aiden's father absolutely destroyed, Hannah's boyfriend absolutely destroyed, but I'm sure there are many many more that will be touched and traumatised by these tragedies. And I'm going to say condolences to Brandy, the mother's family and friends too. They would have presumably have known her as a normal human being, a loving mother perhaps. I'm sure this is going to come as a shock and a trauma for them as much as anybody else. It's going to be very, very difficult for people in the local community to process this. How could this happen? Is this tragedy going to occur in my family? Is it going to happen to the next door neighbours? If normal people can turn evil merely by being emotionally upset, losing all self-control to the point that not only do they think, consider, but they actually go ahead and take out these horrendous acts of brutality. It's kind of scary really, but that's all I really want to say. So of course, full condolences. I'm going to wrap things up. If you do appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. Consider joining my memberships and take care.